Mountain. Dead mouse found in a curry sauce. When Kate Barrett bought a jar of Thai masala sauce from her local Esda store, she was expecting it to contain a bit of a kick. But what she wasn't expecting to find was the dead mouse which had somehow ended up in the jar, along with the rest of her favorite sauce. The nursery worker had begun making dinner for herself and her boyfriend, Nigel, when she poured the sauce into the can and noticed it was a little lumpy. As she began stirring the sauce through, she noticed what looked like whiskers and a tail, and immediately knew it was a dead rodent. The couple took the dead animal and a jar of Esther Extra Special Sauce back to the shop where a manager apologized and said it would be sent for examination. 2. Oven Glove Found in Hove is Loaf A woman in Northern Ireland discovered part of an oven glove baked into her slice of bread, and she didn't even notice it until she began eating it. The loaf had been bought from a local shop just before Christmas. When the victim discovered the contamination, she reported the matter to the environmental health section of the council. The packet turned out to be full of shreds of the Hessian type cloth. Herefordshire based Hove is Maker's Premier Foods refined 750 pounds. 3. Chicken head found in McDonald's Happy Meal. An American mother went to a McDonald's with her two six and eight year old children. She ordered two Happy Meals with chicken for the children and a hamburger with fries for herself. While they were eating, the six year old was more interested in the slide across the street than in the chicken nuggets which he didn't even touch. So the mother decided she would eat them. Without actually watching what she was doing she was bringing the chicken biggest to her mouth, just when her 8-year-old son yelled not to eat it. So she looked at the biggest to find that, despite the crust, it looked just like a chicken's head. The manager offered them their meal for free and two more weeks of free meals. The mother pressed charges and demanded $100,000 compensation. 4. 7-inch knife found in a subway bun. Aid Queens, New York man sued his local Subway restaurant after he made a frightening discovery that gives new meaning to his former favorite, the Italian cold cut trio. A knife picked right into the bun. John Adnassini, 27, was shocked to find the surprise ingredient, and a large one of that, in his sandwich. The design director of HX magazine was sitting at his computer doing work and not looking at what he was about to put into his mouth. Agnesini said he didn't bite into the knife's plate and wasn't cut, but a few hours later, he said he felt sick to his stomach and went to his doctor. 5. Dead frog found in a Diet Pepsi can. Fred Negri was grilling in his backyard when he cracked open a can of Diet Pepsi, took a thirsty gulp and immediately started gagging. The flavor of his Pepsi was rank and the texture was thick like slime. He immediately took it to a sink and shook out the contents until something resembling pink linguine slid out, followed by dark stuff. Despite persistent shaking, a heavy object remained inside the can. Completely disgusted, the Negris immediately called poison control in the FDA, and the can was taken in for lab testing to identify the source of the sludgy mess. The couple received a copy of the completed report from the Food and Drug Administration Office of Regulatory Affairs, which concluded the foreign matter appeared to be a frog or a toad. 6. Finger found in frozen custard. A man found part of a severed finger packed inside a pint of frozen custard he'd bought from a Coles frozen custard shop, and officials said it belonged to a worker injured in a food processing machine accident there. The customer, Clarence Stowers, said he put the finger in his mouth, thinking it was a piece of candy when he opened the pint at home. Stowers said he spat the object out, and I said, God, this ain't no nut. So I came in here to the kitchen and rinsed it off with water and realized it was a human finger and I just started screaming. The custard shop owner, Craig Thomas, said that the 23-year-old employee who lost the finger had dropped a bucket while working with a machine that dispenses the custard. He tried to catch the bucket when the accident occurred. Thomas said that as several employees tried to help the injured worker, a drive through window attendant apparently scooped the chocolate custard into a pint before being told what had happened. 7. Condom found in clam chowder. In February 2002 a woman was eating a bowl of clam chowder at a McCormick and Schmick seafood restaurant in Irvine, CA, when she bit down on something rubbery. She thought it was a piece of calamari, but when she spit it out into her napkin she discovered that it was a condom. 
She immediately complained and the restaurant manager took the condom from her. The woman later sued and won an undisclosed settlement from the restaurant. The restaurant itself tried to sue the supplier of the clam chowder, but a judge ruled in favor of the supplier. 8. Cockroach found in packet of Golden Boy A man almost ate this cockroach, found inside a packet of Golden Boy crispy anchovy snack. The cockroach was difficult to spot initially as it was coated with sesame seeds, making it blend together with the snack. He had bought a Golden Boy crispy anchovy snack and almost ate a small cockroach after eating about one-third of the snack. The cockroach even had sesame seeds on it, which means that it came along with the anchovies inside. 9. Black Widow Spider Found in Bag of Grapes A man from Boston found a living black widow spider in a bag of grapes bought at the Whole Foods Market in Brighton. Jorge Fortes reached into the bag, pulled out some grapes and saw something black fall out and run away. He thought it was an ant, so he looked in the bag and found a southern black widow spider. He spit out his mouthful of grapes and noticed the spider's telltale red hourglass on its belly. He put it in a yogurt cup and went back to the store to let them know what had happened. A manager told Fortes the entire shipment of Anthony's brand organic red seedless grapes would be removed from the shelves. In a statement Whole Foods said spiders are part of the landscape at their California growland. Although we are very cautious when unpacking produce, sometimes insects are not detected. A black widow bite is rarely deadly, but its mere toxic venom is painful. It can bring down muscle cramps, vomiting, and dizziness, especially in young children and the elderly. 10. Poop found in ice cream. A family accused chefs of serving poop in their ice cream after they complained about noise during a football match. A bitter row broke out between them and one of Sydney's largest tourist pubs. State government food minister Ian McDonald confirmed that frozen fecal matter had been found in a serving of chocolate gelato offered to placate pub patron Steve White and his wife Jessica, who became violently ill after eating it. Staff at the Cooge Bay Hotel, located just a few minutes south of Bondi Beach, denied the charge. Both the chef and restaurant manager volunteered for DNA tests to prove their innocence. Both sides have accused the other of money-seeking, with the whites claiming they were offered $5,000, £1,500, in hush money by pub general manager Tony Williams, while they in turn were accused of trying to negotiate up to $1 million in damages.